Welcome to NetSuite's Suite Success demonstration for service companies. In this video, we'll demonstrate the use of project manager dashboards and how to view the status and utilization of resources. For this video, I'm going to log in as a project manager within a services company. As the project manager, I need to quickly respond to requests for resources. I'm going to navigate to a recently awarded project so that I can begin to look at my resourcing needs. From my project homepage, I navigate to my resource tab, where I can see the generic resources that have been assigned. These generic resources are meant to act as a placeholder and indicate to me and my team that we have to assign a resource. I have the option of allocating a new resource directly from the project record by editing the tasks here. Alternatively, if I want to add a new resource to the project before assigning them to a specific task, I can select my new resource allocation button, add a resource here, and allocate their time to the project. For our implementation project, I know that we want to take a deeper look at our resources. And since I have a large resource pool, we want to look further across the organization to see who is available and fits the skills required. The best way to accomplish this is using NetSuite's resource allocation chart. We can use the resource allocation chart to look for individuals who meet the specified criteria for the project by filtering on skill sets and knowledge. This chart provides a comprehensive visual display of all of my resources, which projects they are working on, and how much of their time is spent on each of these projects. The interactive chart allows me to identify where a resource may be overbooked, marked by red. Alternatively, I can easily identify which resources have free time and therefore are available to take on more work. Let's start off here by completing that search for a consultant with the skills we need for this project. For this project, let's do a detailed search to find the right resource. I'll use my magnifying glass to begin the search. Here I will choose the date range of the project. I have a list of the available skills of my entire resource pool, which lets me staff resources to projects based upon their skills, specialties, and areas of expertise. I will choose the knowledge and skills required and choose the billing class of the resource we need to assign for this project. After clicking Submit, I can see the resources that match this criteria and even identify a skill set score to better narrow down the search results. From this list, it looks like Adam Minster is a good fit for our needs. I'll add Adam to this project and he will now see this project on his Employee Center dashboard when he logs into NetSuite. Once Adam is selected, I can add our project and assign his hours. While we are here on our resource allocation chart, I typically like to check how many projects are still assigned to generic resources. These generic resource placeholders tell my team and me where we have forecasted needs for existing and upcoming projects. We can look down at our generic resources and identify that we have a lot of staffing of resources to do. By filtering my resource pool by just consultants, I can see which consultants have availability. We can simply change these allocations from one resource to another. Now that we've done some staffing updates, we'll click Save on our resource allocation chart, and all updates will be effective in real time. Now that we are done with a detailed search of our resources and navigation through our resource allocation chart, Let's take a look at some of NetSuite's out-of-the-box reporting to help us track resource utilization. In order to monitor my resources utilization, I can quickly reference the utilization reports by navigating through my global search. NetSuite provides actual, allocated, and planned utilization reports, so we can track not only actual entered time of our resources, but also our long-term plan for our resources going forward. From here, I can see a breakdown of my resource pool and how their allocated time is tracking against their capacity, allowing me to make real-time, business-driven decisions about whether to hire additional resources or seek opportunities to take on more projects. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.